Hi, this is Li Chen from Simionic. Today I'm making this video to give you a channel review for the Compass, this one. Uh, since some of our users have already received the Compass uh, for their orders. Uh, we are now accepting orders for the Compass as um, pre-orders. Um, so the Compass, uh, it, connect, uh, it cannot connect to the computer directly because it's a part of the switch panel. Uh, this one, the compass is, the compass actually need to plug to the switch panel. Uh, there is a, a wire from the compass uh, goes to the back of the switch panel and uh, you plug the compass to the switch panel on the back. And uh, uh, with the compass, when you turn on the switch panel, please, um, Please apply the power first. There are two USB cables on the back of the switch panel. One is labeled as PC, or no, I don't think, uh, maybe USB. It's the one connected to the PC and then do the communication. And the other one is labeled as power, it's the power supply for the switch panel. And the power is actually for the compass because there is a stepper motor inside the compass. So uh, please uh, apply the power first or at least the same time. Uh, for the two USB cables because uh, the power is supplied when power the when the switch panel is powered up the there is a, a self test process inside the processor of the of the inside the controller of the switch panel uh, and that tells you whether the compass is good or not uh, the process is like that when the power is supplied the compass will roll to find a special position, a, a certain position that uh, we call it index position. Uh, it's the position that it uses as a, a reference. Uh, and it, uh, when the position is found, it will stop at a position, at an index position. And that position will be very close to the position that the compass point to the north. And uh, when rolling to find the position, the LED inside the compass will uh, turn on. You will see the LED is slide up. And uh, when the process is completed and the index point is found, the LED will, uh, will turn off and the compass will stop at somewhere near the north. Uh, that's the normal process to let you know the compass it's itself is working well. There's no problem with the compass itself. And in case um, uh, when the compass cannot find the index point, it will keep keep it'll keep rolling for about three uh, revolutions and uh, stop there. And uh, the LED LED inside the compass will blink for three times to let you know well there is some something is wrong inside the compass, it's not running well. Before the compass can be used with flight simulator, uh, a calibration process needs to be go through before, uh, before it can be used. Actually, there are several components on this full panel which uh, needs to be calibrated before they can use, uh, like, this switch, uh, like this flaps lever and the flaps indicator and uh, all the four knobs on the uh, switch panel because they are, they are uh, either potentiometers or stepper motors or uh, server motor. And uh, compass is one of them, okay? It needs to be calibrated before it can use. The calibration process is in the bridge. Um, in the latest version of the bridge, there is a button on, on it called um, panel configuration. You click on that button and it will open a new window uh, all the calibration process are on, are, are there. And uh, you select compass, uh, there will be a step-by-step -step, uh, calibration process. Um, there are actually some buttons to move the compass uh, either clockwise or, or counterclockwise with very small amounts, with very small, small steps. What you do is to uh, use those buttons to align the north of the compass exactly to the center. And uh, that's how the calibration process can be done. And uh, the calibration process is only need once. 
once it's done, you won't need to do it uh, uh, for another time. You just uh, enter the game and it'll work. Okay, this, um, this is actually my first video. Uh, let me know uh, what do you think of this video or ask me if you have any questions. I'll see you. Thank you.